still go for anatomy of the small intestine. So let's zoom this part. We know that there is intestinal villi. So there will be, if you go, this is there will be intestinal villi. The whole intestine is in the form of intestinal villi, which are finger like projections. So inside this villi, so this is the lumen, this is the lumen here. So inside these villi, there is lymphatic circulation here. There is lymphatic circulation. These are blind loops. So the fats that are coming in the intestine, so the fats that are coming in the small intestine, they cannot be just simply absorbed to the blood circulation. They cannot be simply absorbed to the blood circulation because they are packaged into small uh, pack, uh, small they small things which are called as chylomicrons. They are packaged. So these chylomicrons they cannot just be absorbed into the surrounding blood vessels. So they, this absorption of chylomicrons, it needs a different kind of transport. So these chylomicrons, what they will do, they will be absorbed to the lymphatic circulation. So now this lymphatic circulation, they contain fats. So because of the presence of lots of fats, the whole thing becomes milky in color milky in color so what what they call as chyle so all this milky fluid from here it will move to so this chyle that is collected from intestine what it contains it contains fats it contains chylomicrons it contains cholesterol so this milky fluid that is collected from here and where it will go it will go to a big kind of lake Okay, we call big space, we call the cisterna chyli, cisterna chyli, cisterna chyli. So this cisterna chyli will be collecting from the lymph from different, from the liver and from different, from the lower limbs, it will collect from the lower limbs and from different organs of the digestive system. So this cisterna chyli will be then, it will send one efferent vessels, it will send one efferent vessels which is called as thoracic duct. So this thoracic duct will come out of the cisterna chyli and just below the diaphragm. So this thoracic duct, where this thoracic duct goes, this thoracic duct goes to the junction of, it goes into the left side of the neck, left part of our body and it will it will go to the junction of subclavian vein and left subclavian vein and left internal jugular vein and this thoracic duct will then go to, it will open into the junction of left subclavian vein left internal jugular vein and left subclavian vein so this thoracic duct is also called as left lymphatic duct. So the difference between left lymphatic duct and right lymphatic duct is that this left lymphatic duct or thoracic duct is collecting the lymph or collecting the lymphatic fluid from lower limbs and the digestive system and also the left side of the body. Whereas the right lymphatic duct, it is collecting fluid only from the right side of the head, head neck, face and right side of the upper limb and right side of the thorax. Okay, so the right lymphatic duct, you can say the right lymph. So we can do it like this. So the right lymphatic duct, it collects from the right side, it, this is the right side, this is the left side, it's collecting from the right side, from the right half, also from this part and then it dumps into the junction of internal jugular vein, junction of internal jugular vein and then it collects into the here. 
into the superior, this is the right atrium. Okay, this is the right atrium. So, the right lymphatic duct is collecting from this part, this part, and it is dumping here. Okay, the left lymphatic duct or the thoracic duct, which starts from this here, starts from here, it goes and then it is dumping into the left internal jugular vein and left subclavian vein which is again opening here so overall this all both from the left side and right side they are coming into the right atrium the whole lymphatic circulation so this left lymphatic duct or thoracic duct is collecting from the holes from this part from the left side left leg from the digestive system from the left lower half of the body okay and it is going into the right atrium also from this part of the body so overall you can see the left lymphatic duct or thoracic duct is collecting a lot than right lymphatic duct and because it, this left lymphatic duct or the thoracic duct is collecting fluid from the small intestine also so this fluid is milky in color and we call it a chyle so let me recap the chyle that is coming from the digestive system it is then collected in a big pool okay which is called the cisterna chyle so this from the cisterna chyle this thoracic duct so here is the cisterna chyle here is the cisterna chyle so from the cisterna chyle this lymph so th this cisterna chyle is the collection center for the lymphatic fluid coming from various parts of the body okay it's a collection center so from here the thoracic duct starts okay so that is the difference between the left lymphatic duct and the right lymphatic duct the left lymphatic duct is we also call as thoracic duct so this is about the lymphatic circulation of the intestine let's understand clearly where this lymphatic circulation goes so the right lymphatic duct so the right lymphatic duct it will go into the junction of it will go into the junction of here it will directly open into the right junction of right subclavian vein and right internal jugular vein okay it will go so this right lymphatic duct this is right lymphatic duct so it will collect it will collect it from where it will collect from the right upper limbs right upper limb and right thorax right side of the thorax and right side of the face where is the left lymphatic duct or we can say thoracic duct okay so which starts just below the diaphragm and it will go here so this is called thoracic duct so this left lymphatic duct or thoracic duct it will open into the junction of left internal jugular vein left subclavian vein so overall all this lymphatic circulation from the both sides from the right half and left half this is superior vena cava and they will go into the right atrium they will go into the right atrium through the superior vena cava the one thing is to be noted that the left uh, lymphatic duct or thoracic duct is collecting from the whole digestive systems it, where it is collecting it collecting from the it is start from the cisterna chyle cisterna chyle and it is collecting from the right uh, sorry left is collecting from the left limbs left upper limb left both limbs lower limbs and thorax okay so lower part of the body left side of the body including face everything is coming to the cisterna chyle and going into the junction of left internal jugular vein and left subclavian vein okay and remember this is chyle as it is collecting the chylomicrons as it is collecting the fats from the intestines so that's why it is milky in color and it is all of this extra fluid from the intestines and various parts of the body from the tissues they are going to the superior vena cava and going to the right side of the heart
So let's understand clearly where this lymphatic circulation goes. So the right lymphatic duct, so the right lymphatic duct, it will go into the junction of, it will go into the junction of here, it will directly open into the right junction of right subclavian vein and right internal jugular vein. Okay, it will go. So this right lymphatic duct, this is right lymphatic duct. So it will collect, it will collect it from where? It will collect from the right upper limbs. Right upper limb and right thorax, right side of the thorax and right side of the face. Where is the left lymphatic duct or we can say thoracic duct? Okay, so which starts just below the diaphragm and it will go here. So this is called thoracic duct. So this left lymphatic duct or thoracic duct, it will open into the junction of left internal jugular vein left subclavian vein. So overall, all this lymphatic circulation from the both sides, from the right half and left half, this is superior vena cava and they will go into the right atrium. They will go into the right atrium through the superior vena cava. So one thing is to be noted that the left uh, lymphatic duct or thoracic duct is collecting from the whole digestive system. It, where it is collecting? It collecting from the it is start from the cisterna chile. Cisterna chile and it is collecting from the right, uh, sorry, left is collecting from the left limbs, left upper limb, left both limbs, lower limbs, and thorax. Okay, so lower part of the body, left side of the body, including face, everything is coming to the cisterna chile and going into the junction of left internal jugular vein and left subclavian vein okay and remember this is chyle as it is collecting the chylomicrons as it is collecting the fats from the intestines so that's why it is milky in color and it is all of this extra fluid from the intestines and various parts of the body from the tissues they are going to the superior vena cava and go 